When I saw this house, I was obsessed with everything the builder did with the barn wood. It was just kind of all the things that I really love about a modern farmhouse. So this was my first house and it was really exciting, a little nerve wracking because it is a big house and having to furnish it can be a little intimidating, but I got to kind of create these spaces that felt like me, but could be utilized by all my friends that come over and hang out. I really do love reclaimed wood. And so when we saw it in the island, in the kitchen, I decided that I kind of wanted to keep that feeling going throughout the living room. So originally behind me, the bookshelves and everything in between was just all white. And I thought what a perfect place to just pull that in and kind of bring your eye that direction. And then certain pieces throughout the house, whether it be furniture or artwork on the wall, I'll try to incorporate it here and there just because it feels very cozy and also I love a little boho vibe and I think that's a little nod to that as well. My bedroom I think was the most fun for me to design first because it does have the shiplap as that main accent wall and I definitely wanted to have everything kind of flow around that. So keeping with that iron bed that feels like a farmhouse and then just adding like a little touch of color with those faux animal heads that I have in there. That room definitely feels like me, Nashville me I guess you would say. I have a ton of antique pieces around the house. Every dresser in the house has been refurbished and I found it like Nashville flea market or antique stores. I've got the table in the breakfast nook area that has been made out of like an old electric door and we just took the handles off and added glass to it. The headboard in the upstairs master, which is the size of a 300 year old smokehouse. They're kind of withering away and they have this like greenish gray hue to it, which was just really cool to have a tie into kind of that purple theme that I have going on upstairs. I also found the table in the front entryway that's made out of the Singer sewing tables that somebody redid and just put a nice wood top on. And it's just a cool way to kind of have people enter my home and see that it's, it kind of speaks a lot to what I think the house is, which is pulling a lot of that history, but also kind of adding a new touch, a new flair to it. And also the fact that it has Singer on it, because that is something that I love doing. So it's, it's a really cool piece to enter the house with. Music is very important to me and also being in Nashville it's very easy to find a lot of pieces that are kind of music based. First and foremost I have this awesome piano upstairs that I love playing on and it's really cool that it's in the loft area because it just echoes through the house. We try to make that room kind of more of a music room so I've got art pieces on the wall like a guitar that my aunt bought me that's been hand painted and super colorful. My favorite place to entertain people would be the kitchen, the breakfast nook area, and definitely outside on the back porch. I've always been a really big fan of Joanna Gaines. I think their show Fixer Upper is kind of what got me inspired to want to like design my own home. And when I found this house and I saw that it already had all those vibes to it, I fell in love with it and just kind of took off from there. So I wanted to make sure that whatever my home is, it feels not only like me, but it's something that's very comforting and warm for other people too. And I'm very much love to encourage other people to make their space feel like something they never want to leave.